everyone, Tara Tesher here, the creator of All Things Temptations. Um, I have to talk to you about a total passion of mine, which is charcuterie. Charcuterie boards. What did you say? Meat and cheese board, if again you don't want to get that fancy. But I have to tell you, it is one of my passions. I absolutely love making them, and I think they're super easy and everybody can kind of pick. That's kind of my deal. I love having family and friends over to my house, and I love everybody kind of helping themselves. So. Uh, I do offer a lot of stoneware boards and pieces and beautiful platters, but I also love to do it on a wood board and then pop some of these pieces in because I just think it adds to the color. Okay, so some of the things I usually start with, different color cheeses, not necessarily flavors per se, and I cube them ahead of time, not to bore you, um, but here I love that I always choose like a dill. Um, cheese. I love the color of it. I love the texture of it. I'm big into the texture of the cheeses that I'm picking too. And then I, of course, always pick a blue cheese. They're kind of sticky, so I cut that ahead of time, and I know that it's going to crumble. But again, I start to anchor the cheeses in different places because I really want this to look absolutely stunning when I'm done. Then I always pick a yellow cheese, so I did a sharp cheddar here. Um, one of my favorites is Huntsman, um, and I find that at one of our local stores here in Westchester, Pennsylvania, Carlino's, delicious. Um, and then I'm also going to do one of my absolute faves are these fruit-infused um, cheeses. They have apricot, they have cranberry. Here I actually picked a cranberry. This is super crumbly too, so one of the things I love to do is just make it easy for everybody. I cut it into bite-sized cubes. Again, if you wanna use this as finger food, just grab it. If you don't wanna to have to put it on a plate, then cube everything. It just makes everything super easy for everybody else. So those are kind of my cheeses. And then, of course, I love to add the different meats, always with brujute. And what I love to do with the brujute is kind of shred it ahead of time. Again, I'm always thinking about the fact that I want everybody to just be able to come in and enjoy what they're doing, pick, 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 take what they want, and they're good to go. So look at that, so the brujute there. And notice that I kind of find a place for everybody, but I'm going to rearrange it because that's how I roll. Um, so there's my brujute. And then, of course, we're gonna do a little pepperoni. Sometimes I lay the pepperoni long wise because, ways because I like it. And then other times I will actually roll it. So again, it's a matter of how much time you have, what you want this to look like. Again, have fun with it, super easy. No rules really to a charcuterie board, at least not in my house. I just pick the things that I absolutely love. Okay, so I have my meats, I have my cheeses. Now we need something crunchy, right? So I always will do either crostinis or here. I actually have some sea salt crackers because who doesn't love sea salt crackers? And I just kind of put them in two different areas so that again, everybody can kind of help themselves. And then I wanna tuck in certain things like always a fig jam. This is our basket weave. Look how beautiful this is gonna look and pop with the board. Oh, had a jumper. Did you see that piece of cheese? No worries if that happens, still yummy. Okay, so I incorporated my fig jam. And then I did a little honey in my little pitcher, and I love to find little spoons, little forks, little pitchers, things that kind of bring this board to life. Because not only do we eat with our eyes first, the food just tastes better when it looks so good. Um, and then I'm going to add my olives. You have to have olives. Um, and I'm gonna tuck that right back here. So notice, I'm gonna actually turn this a little bit. We have our cheeses and our crackers and our meat. We have our meat and our cheese and our crackers. So that kind of no matter which way you're picking from the board, everything's done. Uh, Marcona almonds are an absolute must. This was full, not gonna lie. I've been eating them all day and now I have a few for the board. <laughs> So again, have fun with it. A lot of times it's the things in your home that you have that you know so many people will enjoy. But like I said, there's no rules. The things you love, the things people love, everybody can help themselves. And look at what a beautiful presentation this makes. And as we're getting ready for the Super Bowl, this is exactly what I'm gonna be serving because how easy is this for an appetizer? Everybody can just come in and help themselves before we get ready for everything else. So hopefully you enjoyed our charcuterie board or you know, just that cheese and meat board, whatever you prefer. Make it your own, make it yourself, rinse and repeat and enjoy. Bye.